can you just talk more about uh, you know Shaq? He, <laughs> you know, he he's such a legend uh, even in today's game as a, as an NBA analyst. But uh, when 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 checking out his college career, he also made a big uh, improvement. You know, from freshman to to junior year. Can you just talk more about his evolution from freshman uh, to to junior when he went hard? I mean, let, let me first say, I mean, he was he's just an amazing, amazing basketball player. You know, uh, I'm gonna come back to what to your question, but when people now talk and compare big men, um, you know, I, I believe he, uh, and, and I understand it, you know, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, uh, you know, all the other guys that are compared Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I, I do not believe that anybody, any of those guys could stop Shaq and the other way around he could have. So, I mean, it's just an unbelievable, unbelievable uh, basketball player. Now he came in, uh, to LSU, uh, you know, in, in the story or the, the, the note that I just uh, described earlier, when he was 17 and he was, uh, you know, for his uh, standards, relatively skinny and still growing, you know, growing, you know, in, in, uh, size-wise, uh, not yeah. necessarily height-wise, but size-wise, definitely. So he was young and I remember that first summer when he was 17, I thought, at one point, I was isolated against him in pickup games in the summer, uh, isolated against him and somebody else shot. And I thought I had him solidly boxed out at the block, you know, about uh, a meter and a half away from the rim and solidly. And, and somehow he jumped straight up and, and stretched out and over uh, rebounded and dunked it over me. I was like, this is physically impossible. And that's when he was, I mean, this is, you know, mathematically, uh, geo, geometrically, I mean, impossible, I thought. And. That was just my first, uh, you know, really, uh, uh, and that was early when he got there. One of the first, uh, maybe the first week, second week of pickup games. And then, uh, you know, obviously everybody knows how he dominated college basketball. And he just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, you know, he worked hard at his game um, every day to, to the point where it was annoying almost. Uh, he was at such high intensity where, uh, where, you know, somebody on his opposed, uh, on his team, and I was on the other team, uh, would shoot an air ball, the ball would bounce out of bounds, it would chase it down, way out of bounds, bring it back inbounds, dunk on everybody, and said, there's no out of bounds here. You know, and <laughs> we thought we had finally stopped the starting five and, and had some sort of a sense of, uh, of accomplishment, and he <laughs> erased that. So his intensity was super, super high, worked hard, got bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger, and obviously nobody could stop him. Did he did he have a softer touch when he came uh, at LSU at 17? Because I remember watching some of his uh, high school highlights, and he could, you know, he could shoot. He could he could shoot the mid range. He could shoot the free throws quite well. What happened in college? Well, in college, uh, look, I don't know much about his uh, high school career, um, uh, but in college, you know, he was. Uh, I mean, that was the knock uh, that people outside of LSU basketball if they wanted to bring up something that Shaq could work on uh, as, as a negative, uh, his touch. But, but I never thought at that point in time, when, when there wasn't an opponent as, as strong and physically dominant as he was, to, uh, to work on that. Even. But why, would you, why would you pass up an 80% shot for, yeah. for something that's still a good, maybe a good touch turnaround jumper or, or a face-up jumper? That is, even when it's good, it's 50%. Why? why? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the further in his career, of course, when he got uh, opponents that were close to, or closer to his size and closer to his strength, he developed a, a touch or had a touch already, but developed it more, came more to the forefront um, because uh, he, he uh, was in need of counter moves, of course. And, uh, but I thought he always had good hands. Um, we also know all of his uh, free throw woes a little bit, but, um, you know, he worked on that. We had shooting coaches at LSU. You know, Bill Walton came in and worked with us. Uh, you know, all the big-time uh, players came in, uh, ex-players came in to work with Shaq. Everybody wanted to help. And he was eager. He was uh, soaking it all up. And, uh, you know, um, to get back to your question, I'm not really sure if a touch was needed in college. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I think that would have been a secondary option that would be less effective at that time. Mm -hmm. 